Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to actually finally name one of them. I've named it before. <laughs> the one I keep saying I go to trends. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I kept saying trending. But anyway, to see, you know, where's a good place? Area around here. I think that one's great with that. You know, all of them have their flaws for certain. But that trend thing is really good. Um, Unfortunately, if there's a lot of people out... Anyway, what I want to talk about on it is uh, is the exclusive thing. I've done before in the past, but I had so many videos that, that I was back of. I don't know what channel I put it on. And I've been making videos starting on my original channel. Next month will be 10 years. 10 years. So I have several channels because I've used them for different reasons over the years. And uh, I didn't go and make all the channels at once. But anyway, um, so I just had to get them off my phone. I used my phone. I didn't have hardly any memory. <laughs> One time it was at 104% use. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down to like 56 right now. So, wow. But anyway, um... But the time that, when I first saw this exclusive thing, I had, it was one of two situations. Either it was the situation that I had to report to um, you know, the support because it was, somebody was, um, it was really weird. The phone, it popped up saying that this phone is, that I said, how did it go? Okay, I was delivering an order. I sent them a text saying, which one do you want? Because it said two. Do you want me to meet you at the door? Or do you want um, me to leave it at the door? And it sent back something saying this account, uh, this phone number had been disconnected or something. It, it flew by so quickly that all I could see was disconnected. I mean, well, it would be disconnected, the phone. So something like that. And it just kept getting weirder. Like somebody was sending me texts from that phone, although it was disconnected, and saying quit, stop, which, you know, we do. Um, many of us have know that you do when, when you want somebody to quit texting you. And that, to me, you know, that could wind up being a police involved if I were to even go up, step onto their property. Seriously. When they just tell me to quit, stop, because my thought was somebody has somehow stolen their account, their phone account, something like that, and was still using it somehow, maybe if it involved their, um, you know, any of their food delivery, you know, they would order from them, you see what I'm saying? So I was not going to get in the middle of all that. No thank you. I don't need any more hassle in my life, you know, any more trouble, <laughs> uh, unnecessary trouble. But anyway, so... So I called support, and I did not deliver it, and I told her, I told him, and she said, yeah, that was very odd, and, you know, they can't send you texts from, you know, a disconnected phone and all that. So it was, it was food that was awful. <laughs> I looked at it, smelled it, <laughs> and was, she, because she told me, you know, what to do with it, and, uh, oh, man, no way, it was bad. And that was weird. I had been delivering from that place many, many times, but since then, nothing. It's fine because I don't want to have some kind of situation like that again. It could have been that one. I think they were real close together. Or the other one was I accidentally accepted an offer uh, because I was logging off and it popped up, um, you know, on Uber, how that happens where the go offline, I, get, I think it is go, I think it says go offline. You click on it, that's right where the, the you accept an offer that can come back from like behind it. Yeah, that's happened too many times for me, too. And uh, reporting it gets nowhere, but you know, uh, it goes as a cancellation if you cancel it. So, uh, you know, I, it wasn't much money, it was like three dollars and something. I did see that because you know how big that part is, and the rest of it I had no idea. And I told myself, cancel this. You know, I kept saying the cancel, and I thought, no, I'm going to try. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> made me go out to, I don't even know what to call the place, Hicksville, Scaryville, uh, a bunch of Bubbaville, 
you know, Bubba Land, where, when I'm talking about Bubba's, I'm talking about people who really seriously think they own the road, and they're driving trucks, not like that, but, uh, well, they're driving new trucks, it could be, usually they are white trucks, but they, but not everybody who has a white truck, not everybody who drives a truck is a Bubba or a Bubette. I'm talking the personality sticks out because they get right on your tail. If you had to stop fast, it could really do damage. You know, and out there, it was out there in this world where it's so separate from this one. So different. And I, I know that world. I grew up near one, too. I didn't live in that, but I grew up near one. It was a, it was a town, a small town. Not really small town, but... Anyway, people knew you want to go out there. It's dangerous. Just the driving is dangerous. And then you have these people who think they own the road, and they're in these big trucks with the big, um, what are they called? Side view mirrors. And back in the day, they used to be old, and the old trucks, not the person, but you know the rack in the back, wind windshield. Yeah. You knew then. These, you don't know. You know, it could be somebody just love that kind of drug. And also a certain kind of SUV. You know, one certain kind of SUV. But anyway, that, it's not everybody who drives those. Okay, it's not. It is not. It's like I said, their personality sticks out. Because they own that road, man. That's what they think. So it could have been when that... And also I had to go to a the deliver, place to deliver it was uh, marked as private road. It was a gravel road. I don't like gravel roads at all. That was, you know, that's the wear and tear on my tire, and plus they can pop. You know, the gravel that they put, why do they put that crap? I don't know, Jeep. But uh, anyway, and they, I could hear the guys inside, and it was a business, and not the best of kind of businesses to deliver to, and yeah, you know, roads that are uh, very, very narrow, no lines, no uh, curves, no no lights, if it was, it was daylight, though. But nothing. You're just out in the boonies. <laughs> out in the sticks. Yeah. And uh, some of the parts of the roads are lifted up because it's asphalt. And it's lifted up because, the you know, the asphalt's melted and it's shifted in that way. Scary, scary, scary. I almost said something else, but scary. Yeah. And uh, I learned my lesson then. I said, trust my gut, man. You know, on, on these deliveries, I don't say trust your gut on everything because sometimes your gut is wrong for how you interpret what your gut is saying is wrong. But anyway, um, so it could have been one of those two days when that happened. And um, I think it was the one about the delivery. And all of a sudden, I got these, um, this exclusive on that. Okay. Now, the exclusive, by the way, the word exclusive, was gold. And I was wondering, why would it be gold? I was wondering what it was all, all about. Anyway, and because of that situation that just happened, yeah, you see, I, I try to connect it to it. But I also said it could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong about it. And I read on Reddit. I don't, yeah, I read it on Reddit. I don't, I'm not a fan of Reddit. I'm not on Reddit, but I, that's what popped up was something about it on Reddit. And it basically said something like, it's all about the customer, not about the driver. So it was gold, but the gold ones, as it turned out, they were much better offers than the green ones. I wanted to make that point. The green ones could be just as bad as anything. Gold ones were good. They were gold. Okay, I stopped and got me some breakfast. It's 11.07. <laughs> and I asked the guy, I said, are they still serving bre I said, I asked him, I said, they started serving lunch yet? And he said, we still have breakfast. Which I knew, you know, meant that you can have either one. But I hadn't got breakfast. But anyway, I, I had deleted a clip that I was talking about. This must be my theme for the day. But then right then the mystery was solved. <laughs> I knew it could have been something like that. But it was like a little mystery, two times in a row. Then, while I was in this place, as I was walking, um, there was a teenager, two teenagers. I guess they were teenagers. They could have been teenagers as an 18 or 19. And one of them, one of them was in her, 
pajamas. Just the bottom parts of her pajamas. The other one, she had on white tights. And she kind of reminded me of me when I was that age. And except that she had blue hair. No, I didn't have blue hair. And uh, she and I, I wondered if she has the same rare health condition I have. I see that quite often. I'm not a healthcare prof professional provider. Um, not a voice of authority on it. It's just something that she just reminded me. It was the second one I've seen recently, past few months, I guess, that reminded me. It's, it's not something that someone who doesn't know about it if you know about it, you might question it, might. But overall, you just wouldn't, probably wouldn't think anything. But I do because I've had it since I was 10. So, well, the symptoms I've had since I was 10, I probably had it before then. But anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then get started with my day. Okay, I just did my one and only so far today and it's 12, 19, yeah. You know, off order today, it was, took me out to Sashi. Some people call it sash. Oh, I heard it from somebody who actually moved there. Man, it was back in 1990s, I think. Who lived there, and she called it sash. So, it depends on who lives there, how they pronounce it. The town I grew up in was the same way people pronounce it a different way. Nope, it's how the residents pronounce it. That's my view, and I'm sticking to it. But anyway, this stuff is about the exclusive. Now, nobody knows, except for the, no, none of us drivers. We're independent contractors. As I read today on one of the apps sent out new stuff, we are not employees. We are not representatives of them and so on and so forth. We can't use their logos or anything just because we want to. Yeah, you know, it went on and on. This is the second time I've seen something like that. I don't think it was that one that I saw it on at first. And, uh, but anyway, we're not employees. We're independent contractors. We don't work for the restaurants. We don't work for the, I mean, we do and we don't. <laughs> we work as independent contractors. Okay. So we don't, you know, it makes you question, well, does that mean we don't have to answer to them either? <laughs> okay. At the same time, I think it said something like, you know, you have to be, Make sure you're a decent person when you show up or, you know, so you're doing things right when you show up. Well, that's kind of like being a representative. Anyway, but as far as that exclusive and non -ex you know, exclusive and being gold, exclusive being green, we drivers don't know. The people who make videos that don't work, you know, I mentioned this one, Uber Eats, because this is one I see it on. Employees there, they should know, but do they? If there's support, do they know? They tell you an answer, or they, they for real, because I've been told an answer from support before. I don't remember which support it was, and then another one said totally different thing, and you're on the same the same one back then. Though who knows? I've been doing this year, this month, the end of this month. But really, today is by the way is July 7, 2024. So when are we actually going to be told? Do you, have you ever had any of them tell you, you know, to put it on their website, any of these, any of these apps, food delivery apps or whatever they are, did, have you ever seen them put anything like that to say, the reason for this is, <laughs> maybe on some things, but not necessarily. And like I say, I kind of wonder if my market is a test market, but my view on what would be the difference between you know, what I've seen so far, and I could be very, very wrong. We all could be very, very wrong. Okay, in other words, what I was saying, I'm losing my voice, it's always. But what I um, was basically saying, you know, none of us are a voice of authority on it. You know, the, the people who are just, we're just independent, you know, I don't want to say just, but we're independent contractors. We don't work for them, like I said. This is speculation. I call it fiction because we've created some kind of um, scene or scenario, some kind of why, how, and why it works, but we don't really know. And we're not voices of authority on that. It's just speculation. Fiction, as I call it. Like I just said. Anyway, but my thoughts on the exclusive gold and the exclusive, um, you know, I mean, the green, green and gold, different exclusive. And the people online, the one I read on Reddit, they don't know. How do they know? 
you know, somebody divulging this information just to them. <laughs> no. no. And like I said, support might not know. But but my own view from what I saw, like I was saying earlier before I did that order, was that it's um you know, the person who orders it ordered it, um, they were they were paying more or less. And they were you know, they could have been ordering um you know, a special kind of order, a special way, different way than other ways, because I've seen some I'm losing my voice. My goodness, anyway, because I've seen some without it too. And uh, there's also something else that I want to talk about. I just like the order, before I forget, the, the order I just did is when it pops up, somebody had, you know, like a customer had. Uh, complained that some things were missing out of their bag from this restaurant. Well, you know we don't we don't have access. We don't look in their bags. This one uh, was paper clipped. One bag. The guy was there. He said no drinks. I said I said no. I said does it show? He wanted to look at us. Does it show drinks? No. Okay. So everything's in the bag. Yep. Yeah. But it showed up at the top of it. It said the customer had complained of items missing. So. I decided I'm going to, like, um, I think it may have been this one. I don't know which support told me. I always try to communicate, you know, within reason, you know, in the situation with the customer. So I did. I said, you know, I sent one saying that the um, restaurant verified that all items are in the back. One back. The. That's one. Okay. So. I go there, you know, and I, that happened to me before, and I really wasn't good situation when somebody complained that they missed something, uh, that there wasn't something in the bag, so I took video and stuff like that, you know, of leaving the bag there, because that's, to me, maybe some people, you know, some of them would be somebody who, why did you park next to me, dude, uh, way out here, you need to park next to me, but some of it would be you see with my response I <laughs> usually already do that um, my thought would be that oh it's one of them yep yes indeed it's one of the delivery fleet people yep I can tell him a mile away and I thought that when he got out yep he driving crazy he driving crazy okay by the way what's causing this it seems uh, from what I understand is there's one medication that I'm on that uh, can do that Adam's mother took it and it did it to her, too. So, used to. She's, she passed years ago. But anyway, um, where was I? <laughs> Seriously, oh my God. I was talking about the exclusive orders, yeah. But um, personally, because of my experience, let me finish that part up. I think I already did say it earlier. Is that um, it's just the ones that are willing to pay more and there's less mileage and the other ones that were green, they were just really crappy, some of them, and I didn't accept them, and then after I didn't accept a bunch of them, because they were really crappy, the green ones, and uh, that day, that one day, um, I started getting more of the trip radar, and the trip radars are not always bad, but I um, started getting more of those, and those were bad too, but I, I do want to say something about the trip radar, they did change it up here, like, whatever that was, a month or so ago, I don't remember, um, and they changed it to where it had a different ring to it, and then that different ring, different than what's before and all that, and different when I, than what I've heard from Uber Eats, you know, but then they changed it again since then, to where it's kind of a little bit more like it used to be. Like I say, sometimes I think it's a test market, it's maybe a test market, maybe market <laughs> every Maybe every place is a test market for something at some point. And then, it, you know, they even state it. They send something that basically say, says that they're trying out something new or however they were. I don't know. I'm not a representative, remember? <laughs> that, that, that's one of the reasons why I don't, um, you know, clip the orders. I did at first, you know, um, any on, on any of the apps to show how much they were and all that it was it was editing also and I'm not I don't care to edit I've been doing this 10 years don't really care for it all that doing all that mm -mm. nope and plus the way 
this one is it's it's like the ones that are more of a, just a screenshot or under one set of files and the other ones and then I have to know exactly where I have to put new <laughs> to putting that much effort and I don't care to be on camera I was on camera plenty of times over these 10 years don't really care I don't have to be center of attention I prefer seeing where people are going myself than to see their same face over and over and over got it anyway I'm throwing a bunch in this but I'm going to get back to busy but anyway I just think that it's simply put that the exclusive ones or once they order a special way that they've changed it now to where when people order this way, you know, maybe through a different app or something or however they order it. Um, and I think those would be the ones, to me, those would be the ones that are, are more driving for the delivery person. You know, seriously. Because if you order on the app, I've seen it, it's like five miles just to get to the places. If you were to go get them yourself as a customer, that's what Adam saw, and I looked at his, and he saw, I saw the same thing. But the and the other ones, the other ones seem like much further. But you would think they twisted it, turned it around. It used to be that way. Now they're turning it around to where the ones maybe that go on exclusive. I don't know. See, like I say, you know, if they order on the. Uh, app itself because like I said when I saw Adams you know it was brand new it was like four to five miles just to go to the restaurant and then you remember you have to come go to the person's place so they're nowhere near so I don't even remember how long that took anyway kind of rambling but I'm gonna go see if I can get some more it's 1231 usually the 12 o'clock hour I don't noon hour i do not get many orders i think that's because you know there are other people who work full time or they have their ar real high even on uh, uber even though it's not that important so it seems and that could be lying there i'm not a representative remember <laughs> i can't stop laughing you either are or you're not <laughs> okay oh well but anyway let's see what happens Okay, I stopped. Um, it's 12.53, and as I said, at noon hour, I am not going to get any offers, any offers even these days, because, and this is my view, like I've been saying, uh, this, you know, anybody 18 years old and older who are legally allowed to work in this country, uh, many of them are students here, um, you know, students of whatever kind, all the way college, university, if you're 18 and older and you're allowed to work, um, I think they're out working because they're all for the summer the students and the educators too, making a little more money. It's not our jobs. <laughs> the people who say that just, I've, I've said this so many times before, um, depends on what channel I put the video on, the ones who act like their jobs just take me back to when people were, there was so much sexism. And when I was young, when I heard, and this is, that means it's bad. It's not a good thing. It's bad. That the guys would say, you women should, and they would actually say these words. You women should be where you belong, and that's barefoot and pregnant and in the kitchen, cooking for your man, and not out taking our jobs. I forgot to add that part before. Cooking for your man. Really. <laughs> it was that bad. I'm 61. It was that bad when I was young. Also, I was on the debating team, team in something different, but I was on the debating team in uh, high school, and uh, the girls weren't allowed to debate, to be part of any debate. And I asked why. Of course I asked why. <laughs> That's my favorite question. My whole life, why? Why? I want to know why. The guy, the, the guy that you know took us on the trips was a coach at the school. And he he got upset. <laughs> Cause I kept saying, "But why?" He had no answer. You know, he would not have been in any debate himself. <laughs> but really, I mean, there was so much thing that was like not too long after that. I went well at 18. I got married, and I was told by the DPS that if I didn't change my last name to Adams, you know, his last name then the Social Security office could fine and or imprison me. I will never forget those words. So 
18. Some years later, went to a bank and I told them I wanted to at least hyphenate my last name. And they told me I couldn't do that. I got really, well, not really loud, you know, like yelling loud, but I, my voice went a little bit higher than usual. <laughs> okay, you got that right. Uh, my voice is not that high. But, and the manager come over and he said, yes, ma'am, we'll, we'll. So if you want my money, you're gonna let me put my last name as I want it. Still like that to this day. I would think I was in my early 20s. But he said, yes, ma'am, you can do that. And, uh, you know, some of us actually did something about these things. And that wasn't all. It went on and on. And then, like, I think I was probably still in my 20s. Late 20s, maybe. And a, uh, a woman working with me, I was doing a temporary job while I was a career student at university. And uh, she were at a round table sitting there with other people. And she told all of us that when she was young... Um, she was not an actual, considered an actual person that like on a checking account, anything where it, in, it involved, you know, them putting their name that she had to put, she was MRS and her husband's last name or even, and or even her husband's first name and last name. She was not considered a person for like legal contracts. She was mainly talking about check, checking accounts and savings accounts. Some people, I don't know, I don't know if these th kind of things are taught to younger people, especially, or even people our own age, at this age or older. Did you, you know, older probably knew it because they went through it. But, I mean, there's so much more. I don't know why I got on this. <laughs> why did I get on this topic? It's just go with my own flow. But anyway, uh, it's 12.57. Let's get back to this. I never get them under, you know, during the 12 o'clock hour. I just don't. Well, I was talking about age, who, who is and who isn't allowed to work. And, you know, it's not our jobs. Just because we do it on the regular, it's not our, our job. I mean, it's, those don't belong to us. Anybody who is allowed in this country to work. And the app agrees. And the service agrees. You know, it's everybody's jobs can't stand that mentality, that prejudice of the people who are so prejudiced and make comments like, well, you know who they are. No, you don't. You do not. And if you're faking who you are to find out who they are, oh boy. Ooh. Shame, shame. Yeah, I have a feeling that'd be more than just a shame, shame. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to go home. I need to go home and do my insulin anyway. Uh, I give myself some wiggle room on the, the noon one, the lunch one, because the endocrinologist had just told me when I went to saw her one time, and that was it, no thank you. Oh, she was awful. Uh, but one thing she did right, imagine that, um, was to tell me, you know, to take my medic, my insulin three times a day instead of two times a day. And overall it worked, except, well, that's a long story. But uh, she just said lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, what time are breakfast, lunch, and dinner supposed to be? How much apart are they? How much with that medication? Like I said, I never went back. Oh, she was bad. And Adam was with me as a witness. <laughs> oh, one time. That was it. But, uh, you know, since then, yeah, but I ask, well, when is considered far enough apart between each, you know, injection and what exactly would be, I mean, it depends on me. I wake up at like, like this morning I woke up too early. But usually it's about 4 o'clock in the morning. And so it's going to be different for me than it would be for other people. You know, I know that. But how much time can go between them? How much should go between them? And I am rambling at this point. But all of this is involved, you know, why I can't work. Plus the reason I'm working is for the health insurance. And it's not about the money, it's about the, the proving to the government and everything. And that's kind of hard to do when I have a, you know, chronic health conditions caused by one, uh, the, the original one that causes all of it. It's a rare condition. And then I have edema on top of it all. It's an edema. Even Adam asked me, how do you pronounce it? Hey, you got me. <laughs> we could look it up, right? Yes, of course. And by the way, just because we're old doesn't mean that we don't know. He actually designed circuitry for cell phones. 
Yes. Yeah. Used to. He's an electrical engineer slash um, computer scientist. And me, I was one of the first that we linked our computers together. Not one of the first, but I was in that generation that we linked our computers together through Telnet. And, uh, yeah, before it was even called, at least none of us knew about it. World Wide Web, it came out later. So, yeah, we don't know anything. I had my first phone, oh, wow, uh, 20, cell phone 20, 2002. No, actually, I think it was before then. Hmm, I better think about that. First computer in 1982. But we know, uh, your generation, they don't know anything about computers. We're just faking it, man. If we don't want to have to figure something out, we just say, do you know how I do this? <laughs> I don't do that, by the way. I don't need to. <sighs> anyway, but just think, person doesn't want to smell it. I'm making ask people who who's, has their cell phone glued to their face. <laughs> I just got an image of somebody having a cell phone glued to their face and made me think of, oh, what was his, what is his name? He was on something, so what show, The Jerk, was it? And he had those, made those glasses that had that little thing that holds them onto your nose. And it caused a lot of people to go cross-eyed. And he got sued. Made me think of that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, comic relief. I'm going to go home. I'll, I'll talk to you on another video.